Hi, this is Mike from GetVoip.com, and today I'm going to demo Nextiva's VFAX service, or as they like to playfully call it, Faxtiva. So there's one of two things you can do to get into VFAX. You can go to Nextiva's portal on their page, select your account type, go to Nextiva VFAX from the drop-down, enter your username and your password, and then sign in. Or alternatively, you can go to fax.nextiva.com, and you will come to this screen here. You'll enter your username, which is the same as you would enter to access your account. When The first time you access it, you may have the password fax123. I actually called to find this out after the fact. And then clearly once you've used fax123, you can log in and change it to something a little more unique to you and difficult, obviously. Okay, so just logged in here. And it'll open up to this search window. This will be a record of all the faxes that you have sent and received. You can obviously narrow it down to faxes that were canceled, deleted, etc., etc. So your next step will be to go to the Send tab, enter a fax number, And of course here you would say that you want a cover page, that's why I'm writing all this out. If you did not want a cover page, you would just say no and then go to the next. You can send this immediately, 5 days from now, 10 days from now, up to 90 days. Uh, it's a very great feature where you don't even have to be there to send a fax at a certain time. You can just set it for a day and then walk away. So when I click next here, you'll see the file formats that are accepted. Those who are wondering, you may fax hard copies of things with your uh, your hardware, your fax machine, and automatically have it connect into the Nextiva portal here for your VFAX. But I already have a PDF prepared. And once you've selected the file, you just click Next. Here you can set your filters for easy archiving. This is if you want to access uh, faxes that you send often or you would like to carbon copy or even send to multiple recipients. It's very easy. It's much more simple than sending three or four times to three or four different people and having to put in uh, you know, 28 digits plus. So you'll just click send and you'll get a confirmation here that it is sending the fax. So while I'm waiting for my fax to go through, I'll show you some of the settings that you can put in here, your name, the fax number that you have, your company. Uh, you can also get a notification once the, the fax has gone through in your primary email or via text. You'll notice that the fax status is now green. It has been successful. The number that I actually dialed is HP Faxes Test Service, and what they do is they send you a fax back confirming that everything is working well both ways. So now I know that my Nextiva VFAX is all up and running and perfect. I also have notifications set to be set, sent to my email. You'll see the message status, success. I even have a copy of it here. It comes back to me in a PDF with my cover sheet and everything else. So that's all. That's Nextiva's VFAX. It's so easy to use. And here is the confirmation and fax that was sent back by HP. So, everything's working great. Nextiva's VFAX is a wonderful tool. It's inexpensive, and it's extremely easy to use. So, that's been my tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is Mike from GetVoip.